are back at the St. Patrick's Day Parade. You are seeing the Emerald Society marching along the fire department, city of New York. Such a nice big presence from both the FDNY and the NYPD today in the parade. John Breen just giving you a salute there, just as you said that. Billy Nolan, of course, is the president of the Emerald Society. There are so many of the young men who played in Gaelic Park who go to join the fire department. That's right. That's right, Pat Murray, and a, a happy birthday to Alexa Murray. She's five today, and Pidgey is watching at home. Someone's taking a selfie. Martin Why not team. parade selfies? <laughs> <laughs> Chris Wall. I haven't even done that today. <laughs> Raymond Phillips, John Driscoll, they're all in there. It's quite a sight to see so many firemen. Yep, it's a huge turnout today. And for they for give them. so much, too. Uh, look at that the heroic job they've been doing in East Harlem all week. Tommy Smith, they are yelling your name. <laughs> Probably owe the money. <laughs> Let me hide behind you for a while. <laughs> and thanks to them for all they do. For all, for keeping us safe. The bravest indeed. A sea of smiles out there today for St. Patrick's Day. And here comes some more. Yeah, and there'll be a few more after this as well. <laughs> Quite the flood of firemen. No complaints from me. No. <laughs> I don't know about anybody else. <laughs> John Brown is always in the grandstand. Lisa. And Deirdre is down there, and Mike and Mark all at the grandstand. All right, coming up here, we have Stepanak High School, Archbishop Stepanak High School Band. And Scott uh, walks in the office, Scott Pesapino, and his son is holding the banner today for Archbishop Stepanak. Scott walks very hard in the office for the parade. His wife, Teresa O'Shea, traces her roots to Tipperary and Kilkenny. Thanks, Scott, for all you do for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Now it's an all-boy Catholic school in White Plains, 65 years old. Famous alums include Alan Alda and John Boyd. Catherine, Catherine Zaro also walks in the office. There's so many people who do so much work. Kathy Mitchell, Maselli. They do so much work to get this parade on the streets of New York. And what you have to really realize to appreciate it is it's all voluntary. There's none of them paid. They're all, everybody you see out there today with a clipboard along the street, they're all doing it because they want to be part of the St. Patrick's Day Parade in New York. And I think it's, it's just a great credit to them. Absolutely. And Mike Cassis and Carla, thank you for all you do for the parade. And Garrett Cronin, he printed the lovely books today from Cronin Documents. He traced his roots to Cork. They're beautiful, they're a, a, a keepsake. You have one of them over there beside you. That one snuck up to you. I don't know where you got that. Chris also has a book <laughs> that he does talk about, I think. All right, here we have the Westchester County Firefighters Emerald Society Pipe Band. Their fraternal organization comprised of professional firefighters of Irish descent located in Westchester County, New York, and they're organized in 1980. That's right, there are 40 members. They perform at everything from weddings to private parties, retirements. And of course, parades like the St. Patrick's Day Parade. The president is Paul Jackman from Mount Vernon, Vice President Jean Malone from Fairview, Tommy O'Connor, Robin Curtin, Jimmy Feeney, Tom Moriarty, Jim Lang, Jim Malone Jr. The pipe major is Tom Moore. Johnson. The drum major is Don McLennan. More firemen. More firemen. firemen. <laughs> Hats off to you. <laughs> <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. All of a sudden, the attention has turned to you now. It's not me they're seeing anymore. I don't know, Tommy. I don't 